Every day without anyone paying attention, the Earth is moving people around the world. It unfolds in one of the most difficult to survive in areas of our world, the Sahara Desert. It's a world of heat, of silence, of sand that ends where the horizon starts. But when the winds pick up, something magical happens. Billions of grains of sand swirl up into the air. Every grain is filled with phosphorus, iron, and minerals that long ago made up a massive lake that's long since evaporated. These nutrients cross the Atlantic, traveling a remarkable 3,000 miles, raining gold dots on the Amazon rainforest. Without the Sahara, the Amazon rainforest, the world's greatest womb of life, will starve. On the other side of the world, the deserts of Mongolia and northern China stir up a whirlwind of iron-infused sand. It blows across the massive Pacific Ocean, e nurturing microscopic life forms known as phytoplankton. They multiply to such extremes that they can be detected from space. These microscopic plant life forms generate most of the oxygen we consume. From sand that originated in a desert thousands of miles away, and sometimes giving back to the earth requires the power of fire. When a volcano erupts, it spews out a cloud of ash that is filled with minerals. Ash that settles on far off land, turning barren ground into arable soil. Even settling at the bottom of the oceans, making sea life explosively, or at least explosively healthily, rich. When monsoons break against the Himalayas, they release minerals from the world's highest mountain range, spawning rivers that sustain massive numbers of people. It's a natural system that creates some of the world's richest land, valleys that sustain civilizations that have thrived for thousands of years. Far beneath the surface of the oceans, strong currents bring nutrient-filled water towards the top. Along areas such as the shores of Peru and Chile, this upwelling makes one of the world's richest fishing areas. Life here does not begin on land. Instead, it is spawned from cold water that originates from the depths. Even animals enter this worldwide delivery system. When Pacific salmon make their way from the sea to mountain rivers to reproduce, they carry nitrogen, phosphorus, and sea minerals. When they die, nutrients from their decay nourish forests, and trees actually grow taller because of fish that swim from as far away as 500 miles. Desert dust sustains rainforests. Volcanic ash supports oceans. Mountains feed valleys. Tidal currents revitalize coastlines. Animals manure forests. We break Earth up into continents, oceans, and climatic zones. In fact, the truth is much, much stranger. Life exists because the entire planet shares. The world is not only alive, the world is alive together.